Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here in Los Angeles being joined with Robert Easter Jr. who faces Mikey Garcia coming up this Saturday at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. First off, Robert, welcome to LA. It's a, it's a hot day, so uh, I'm sure if you have to cut any weight, you're gonna have no problem uh, cutting weight in here in the gym. I've already lost like five pounds. But uh, looking at this fight with Mikey, you're a guy that on paper have you have a lot of natural advantages over him. So how are you gonna use the obvious height and reach uh, against a guy that is patient and likes to counter? Um, use my height, use my height. I mean, being patient, that, that really has nothing to do with what I'm bringing, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm here to set the tone, you know, so no matter how patient he is, I'm here to set the tone. When you say that, set the tone, what do you mean by that? Set the tone and the pace of the fight, you know. I'm working at my own pace, you know. I'm not working at nobody's pace. I'm not going in there waiting. I, I, I'm going there and doing what we're supposed to do. In terms of Mikey Garcia, the fighter, and the skills that he has, and the last two performances that he's had, what have you seen him as a fighter? And what would you describe him being at the core uh, as a fighter? Um, you know, uh, he just, he, he sticks to his game plan. You know, Mikey is a master at thinking. You know, that's one thing he has. He's good at thinking and um, staying groundful, you know, and, 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 and figuring opponents out. In terms of figuring him out, opponents have had trouble figuring him out in the last few fights. How do you think the fight will end up unraveling the night uh, on Saturday? Like, how do you really see it going in your mind, and how do you unravel that puzzle that is Mikey at this point? Fight my fight. You know, fight my fight. The, the game plan we stick to, you know, it don't matter what Mikey comes with, you know, we have answers. You know, like I said, if I fight my fight, everybody has, has to figure, try to figure me out. In terms of the training camp, I know that uh, it was a very hard training camp. Let us in a little bit uh, on what was done, what was new in the camp, and how was it different from the other camps that you've had? Um, being away from home, for one, you know, being away from uh, tons of distractions, and uh, I really got to focus on myself this camp. Just focus on me, myself, and boxing, becoming a better boxer, sharpening my skills, and working with my dad and Coach Cunningham, they was on me every step of the way. You know, we just stayed uh, dedicated and working on my skills, working on my advantages. That's what we worked on. What do you think it's brought out of you? <laughs> well, we'll tell that uh, July 28th. Now, you do have uh, Adrian that fought Mikey. I'm sure that you and him have spoken uh, a lot about this fight. What has he told you about his experience fighting with Mikey? We and haven't talked about this, we haven't talked about this fight one time. Oh, really? No. No. Well, why not? Because Adrian know what he didn't do. You know, Adrian know what he didn't do. You know, the only thing he told me: stay sharp, stay in the gym, stay working on your craft, and fight your fight. In terms of Mikey, his skills. Do you think they're at what people are saying they are? <laughs> Like I said, we'll find that out July 28th. I know he's been talking about uh, going to welterweight. It surprised a lot of people, but what do you make of the talk that he's been saying if he is successful, he wants to go up and fight someone like an Errol Spence? Uh, when I win, I want to go up to uh, heavyweight so I don't have to make weight. <laughs> I'm already there. Trust me, it's greener pastures, my bad. It's great being able to eat and not have to worry about anything. You know, but, but at the end of the day, what would a mean, what would a, not a mean, but what would a win mean to you and, and getting a win over Mikey mean and also being unified champion? Uh, it's going to put the spotlight on me and it's going to show everybody who Robert Easter really is, you know. Uh, the skills that's going to come out in this fight is going to show because of Mikey, you know, what type of fighter he is, you know. It's sort of like a chess match where you got a, two skillful fighters in there, two champions going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It brings the skills out of both. Does it go 12, you think? Is it a performance where you feel you'll dominate and it'll go 12, or do you see yourself stopping them? Of course I'm going I'm to I'm dominate, you know. If the knockout comes, if a stoppage comes, it comes. But you will see the skills that I have. 
All right, I can't wait. It's a very good matchup. Robert, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Big unification fight this Saturday at the Staples Center on Showtime.